Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial is going to be part one of our Tic-Tac-Toe GUI series. So let's head over to our Package Explorer. I already created a new Java project. I'm going to say right click the source folder. I'm going to say new class and I'm going to say main. And we're going to be creating two classes. So I'm going to right click it again, new class. And I'm going to say tick tack toe GUI. So I want to start off with the tick tack toe GUI because this is where most of our code is going to be in. So the first step is I'm going to extend the tick tack toe class. And our parent is going to be the JFrame class. Control Shift O to import the JFrame class. And now our tic tac toe GUI class is effectively a JFrame. So now I'm going to create a couple of fields. And I'm going to say private, container, pane. This is going to hold our content pane. I'm going to say private, string, current, player and this is going to keep track of whose turn it is i'm going to say private j button and this is going to be a 2d array and this 2d array is essentially going to be the board so and now i'm going to say private boolean has winner and I'm going to use this field to essentially act as a flag so this is going to signal whether or not we have a winner in our game. And we're going to have to add a couple more items and these are all have to do with uh, menu bars. So I'm going to say J menu bar menu bar. I'm going to say private J menu menu. And the last two J menu item quit private j menu item new game so i actually misspelled j menu item don't be like me spell it right control shift o cuz you can see that we're getting a lot of errors and that's because we haven't imported the class so control shift o and you can see all our classes have been imported. So now let's head over to the constructor. Now I'm not going to be implementing uh, the constructors or the methods in this tutorial, but in the upcoming tutorials I will. What I want to do is actually set up everything now so it's easier for me to explain it in the next tutorials. So I'm going to say tick, tack, toe. GUI, this is going to be our constructor. I'm going to say, and now we're going to head over to our method signatures. We're going to have a method called initialize the menu bar, which you could probably figure out what that method is supposed to do. That's actually going to initialize the menu bar. Pretty self explanatory. I'm going to have another method called reset the board. And this is when the user clicks the, the new game button. So when the user clicks the new game, I want you to reset the board. Next, we're going to head over and say initialize the board. And you could probably imagine what initialize the board does. It's supposed to initialize the board. See, this is what happens when you name methods what they're supposed to be named. So. And now we're going to have private void toggle player. Now toggle player is just going to go, it's going to be like our, our change move uh, method. So if player X moves, then I want you to toggle the to player. So now it's player O's turn. When player O moves, then I want you to toggle the to player, etc. And finally, we're going to have one more method, and this method is going to be called the has winner method. And this is going to check to see if we have a winner. So we did a lot, 
And uh, we did a lot and we didn't do much because I have nothing to show you when I hit the run button. So there's really nothing to show you. So in the upcoming tutorials, we are going to be implementing the this constructor as well as all these methods. So I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe.